Hello, I'm Alessio Antonini, a research fellow at the Knowledge Media Institute. As general chair of the next ACM, Hypertext and Social Media Conference, I'm happy to present you an amazing program and our topics and team and the innovation we plan to implement for the next edition. First of all, the topic. The theme of this year is the humanity within. We hope this topic will try to engage the community into discussion and reflection about what is brewing under the, within the technology and under the surface of algorithms and the systems and pipelines and data. But also it's an excuse for us to try to expand and engage more in the humanities field. A lot of uh, wonderful researchers that are actively studying and trying to understand what are the new practices emerging from social media, cloud editing, and all the things technologies we bring with us we use on a day-to-day basis. So this is for us a big challenge and uh, a wonderful aim, opening the conference beyond computer science, electronic literature, and the usual wonderful community of hypertext to more people from again, digital humanities, but also book publishing and reading studies, and other people that are passionate about understanding the technical aspect, but also to talk about the human side of everything we do. The next edition will be hosted in an amazing place, the Hersham Library in Rome, which is part of the Max Planck Institute, and also a library of art history. This place is uh, in the center of Rome, in Piazza di Spagna and Trinita dei Monti. It's a, a, an actual library used every day by scholars and researchers around the globe coming and visiting to use their co- wonderful connection, collections. But also it will give us the opportunity to visit other incre- incredible venues in Rome and archives. We hope that after a terrible pandemic, you will be uh, able to join us in person for I think what we are building is a great event with a lot of opportunities, not just to present papers and discuss, discuss, but also to socialize, going back to a little bit of normality, understanding different point of view, creating new connections for project and research alike. The Hypertext Conference for, for who never joined us or never had the, the opportunity to know more about it, is, uh, let's say, it's a place of reflection about the hypertext paradigm, the theory, the applications, and all pretty much of all the systems we use today that are based on uh, the idea of connecting things together, connecting resources, connecting people. This is the theory behind the web. This is the theory behind pretty much most of the modern applications we used. So hypertext, this is, will be the 31st edition still exists as a place of reflection for many people in different communities, where once every year to come and join, present the best of their work, and trying to understand what other people are doing from different fields. With this edition, we are doing our best to open the conference to all the people that are, are actually interested in digital authoring, publishing, in the system, in interactive media, in visions, or in reflecting in the last years of computing and all the consequences, good and bad, it has in our life. As such, we are working on different levels. First of all, we will provide scholarship for PhD students and lowering the costs of the conference in line with other humanities major conferences like SHARP and DH. Secondly, we are working on the practices, on the publication formats in order to uh, enable different communities just to, to don't be bothered on learning how to write a paper in a computer science format, but just to send them, to send us their best work in the format they already know. So we will provide the conference proceedings, the post-conference proceedings, and other special issues we are working hard to design. Then we revised completely the track. We spent some time on trying to understand where the communities were heading, looking to the previous edition. And we engaged, I think, in a very fruitful discussion about the future of hypertext community. So we came out with new 
wonderful five tracks that will allow a wide range never had before of contribution. First of all, interactive media art and design track will allow to send not paper contributions like artwork and demonstration, video, everything that can challenge our way of thinking. Then, authoring, reading, and publishing track is specifically made for case studies about new practices emerging, for instance, from the web. Workflows and infrastructure will focus on systems, pipeline, models, and professional use of hypertext, for instance, in art, but in any kind of sector. Social intelligence media will expand the track on social media, try to understand when interactive media are heading to what are the algorithms, what are the open challenges, and how to study large data sets, for instance, like we collect from the web, to get more uh, a better understanding about the practices, about the effects, about the uses. Reflection approach, finally, is a track dedicated to reflection on hypertext systems, on the solution, the design, the interactions, the approaches the communities had in the last years, and what is the future we want to shape with our tools. So we hope with this new revised version of Hypertext, we'll see the people we know, the people that loved the conference, once again, sending their best work, but also many, many new people. Hypertext is a great place for, for newcomers, for instance. We will have the usual best award for newcomers dedicated to Ted Nelson, as well as the Handlebar Best Paper Award. We hope you can join us. We hope you to see you to see you in Rome, to see you online, to send us your ideas and thoughts in preparation of the conference, which will be from the 4th to the 8th of September, again in Rome, in Italy.